Talking Planning presents Bus Week 2. Hello and welcome to the final day of Bus Week 2. Before we look at today's bus, let's recap what I've shown you so far. There was the Hornybrook Bus Line Scania K320UB, the Thompson's Renault Agora Line, the Mount Gravatt Bus Service MAN 19320 and the Stuart & Sons Bonluck City Star. Today, we're going to look at the final bus of the week by heading to an island off the Queensland coast. From the land of pumice, Pacific Harbour and peaceful ageing. Nice alliteration if I say so myself. Let's start this review of a Bribie Island coach's Mercedes 0500 LE fitted with a Bustec VST body. Today's journey starts off at Wurram, Bribie Island's main beach facing out towards the Pacific. In my Bribery Island City review, I've already had a quick look around at what's on offer and I recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. My bus arrived from up the street, where it turns around after completing the inbound run. My bus, number 26, is the second newest route service bus from Bribery Island Coaches, built in June 2009 and painted in the Translink livery. Inside, it looks almost like just about any other Bustech VST delivered during the 2000s. You'll find the signature Bustech fabric, blue poles and Vogel Sites bucket seats with less legroom than you actually need thanks to the desire to squeeze 55 seats into a standard length bus. But since I've already reviewed a few other bus tech derivatives and because people sat in the seats which I wanted to film out of, let's have a look out the window. The first key stop is Bribey Island Shops and the Park and Ride where you'll often sit and wait for a few minutes until connecting bus services turn up so that passengers can transfer onto the 640. Afterward, you'll continue on your way towards the Bribey Island Bridge. Crossing Pummiston Passage is also a nice experience, although the weather on this particular day wasn't quite as rosy. The bridge across the passage is narrow and you really notice the width of the bus, especially on a windy day where the slab sides get picked up by the wind. In general, the 640 is quite a nice service to catch if you appreciate greenery. There's plenty of trees and forests along the journey between Bribie and Caboolture, making the trip nice and relaxing. The trip is also quite a long one, so this is a good thing. Whilst we're on the way, let's have a quick listen to that engine. But there is plenty of power available from a 12 litre turbo diesel offering 299 horsepower and 1250 newton meters of torque, which is ideal when much of the journey requires travelling at 90 k's an hour along Bribey Island Road. If you don't like bus noises being loud, I'd recommend sitting further forward, but considering you're watching a bus review video, that probably isn't you. Overall, the 640 is a service worth catching. And since Bribey Island only has two other low floor buses, a 1999 Mercedes 0405NH and a 2000 Scania L94UB, neither of which I've ever even seen or caught, it's almost certain you'll get a bus like I did. Whether it's in Translink Green or it's painted white is the only other question. You know what? After five days of hard work producing five great bus reviews, I think I've earned a beer. Unfortunately, this time, I don't have one ready because they're all still brewing. So I'm gonna have to wait on one of those. But anyway, I'd like to say a big thank you so much for joining me on Talking Planning, and I will see you again next time.